One of the most painful feelings that somebody can experience in their life is the feeling of being replaced. Say, for instance, you working at a job. You've been at that job for a while, a good amount of time. But that same job that you've been working at for a while, they hire several other people at your same position, but they pay them a lot more money than you. And then eventually you are shown the door. Think about it in a relationship. If you're with somebody for a good amount of time, y'all are in this relationship together. But then all of a sudden the person like, you know what? Uh, it's just not working out. I, I don't think we should be together anymore. So y'all break up and then you're thinking, oh man, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what they're going to do. But then all of a sudden you see them with somebody else like that. You were replaced. And that's painful. That hurts. So initially, initially, when I saw Chuck Clark's comments from his presser today, and it was just a quick little sound bite, I was thinking, man, Chuck, what, like, what, really? That's how you felt about the rape? But then I thought, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, no, no. This sounds like there's some pain behind those words. It sounds like it may have even been a little bit personal with Chuck Clark and the Baltimore Ravens. Um, because it just, obviously... They didn't end on great terms. And this is something that dates back to last year because we remember when, um, when the Ravens, they, they did draft Kyle Hamilton to, to be their safety of the future. And more so their strong safety or whatnot, their box safety, whatever. But before that, before Kyle Hamilton was even a thing, they signed Marcus Williams. So I wonder if that was actually the beginning of the end for Chuck Clark. But I wonder if when he saw them sign Marcus Williams, I wonder if he was like, uh, okay, okay. Wow, he got paid all of that? Oh, mm, okay. And Chuck, we know he's not a free safety, even though like nowadays in 2023, the whole free safety, strong safety thing, he can't necessarily throw it out the window, but it's not what it used to be. But um, with Chuck Clark, that's not his position, but at the same time, he could feel a certain way seeing the Ravens pay all that money to somebody else yet again. Because remember, a couple years back, they had signed another outside safety to a boatload of money, and they brought him in, and he ended up being alongside Chuck Clark. Now, Chuck Clark wasn't the starter yet back then, but some things happened, and then it ended up being Chuck Clark and Earl Thomas, but we know how that relationship ended. It soured pretty quick, and there were some punches thrown, um, but Chuck Clark could have seen that with Marcus Williams and been like, oh, yeah, yeah I, I don't like that. What about me? And then on top of that, a cu uh, about a month and a half later, after signing Marcus Williams, they draft a safety in the first round of the draft, too? At pick number 14? Ooh. That had to push him over the top, man. That really had to be, like they say, the, the straw that, that broke the camel's back. Because that was Chuck Clark. Not initially, not right away, but he knew, like, oh, this is me being replaced. I'm, a, I'm about to be out of here. So then last year, we heard all these rumors about, oh, Chuck Clark requested to be traded. Chuck Clark started tweeting all this stuff. I think he was tweeting like J. Cole lyrics or something. But you know how them football players do. See, a lot of football players, they try to play it safe to where they'll tweet certain lyrics from a song and they know what fans be doing. They know that it applies to the NFL. They know it applies to football. But then when they question about it, when they ask about it, they, they could be like, oh, no, 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 no. It, it was just a song I was tweeting. I was just tweeting out the lyrics from a song. It's like, mm, yeah, okay. You were, huh? Oh, well, yeah, I bet. But anyway, um, Chuck Clark with the cryptic tweets and whatnot. But he, he had requested a trade last year that's been confirmed multiple times this year. And even last year it was too. But he requested to be out of there from the Baltimore Ravens. He requested to be gone. Now, obviously, that request, it, it did, didn't happen. Now, I did read something earlier this offseason that said with that trade request, the Ravens tried. Apparently, the Ravens tried to trade him, but there were no suitors. They, couldn't, they, they tried to trade him, but they couldn't. That's what I read earlier this, this offseason. And when I read that, I was like, ooh, wow. Eek. But then the Ravens, what they did, they reworked his contract. They redid his contract and, and gave him this like this way. They gave him some incentives. So when you give somebody some incentives, it's like, oh, OK, let's let's sort of ease attention with some money. 
<laughs> so, hey, that's what they did. It's business, baby. I get it. So I ain't mad at it. But, of course, this offseason, Chuck Clark was traded um, to the New York Jets for, like, what is it, a 2024, 25 conditional sixth or seventh round pick? I only remember what the draft compensation was, the trade compensation was, because it was something that was just so low um, that does it even matter? It was more so one of them trades where it's like, all right, thanks for everything, but you're, you're gone. Bye. We appreciate you. But you're out of here. But Chuck Clark today, let's just listen to that clip from the presser. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I saw it coming. Uh, I asked for that last year, and uh, they wouldn't do it last year. And so they, we finally kind of got, got to an agreement throughout the year. Like, okay, you know, when the year is over, you know, we knew what was going to happen. So I, I was ready to get out of there. Why? Uh, just the situation that I was put in. And uh, I, they, the things that were said to me and the, posi the position that I felt that I was on the team, I wasn't being respected at the time. So it was time for a new change. Hmm. Powerful words right there. From Chuck Clark. And again, that's not the entire interview. That's just a clip that's been floating around. Um, but what he said, he said he felt like he was disrespected for the situation that he was put in uh, based off of the things that he was told. Now, I wonder, just from what Chuck Clark said on that part alone, I wonder if the Ravens may have given him some reassurance. Like, Chuck, you're our guy. Chuck, we, we, we want you to be here. Chuck, we want you to remain a part of the Baltimore Ravens. Chuck, you're a leader for us. Chuck, you've been a positive reinforcement for us for these last couple of years. Chuck, when you got the opportunity to step in into the starting lineup, you, you took it and you never looked back. And we love that and we respect it so much, Chuck Clark. We appreciate you so much here with the Baltimore Ravens. You have been just amazing in this organization. Thank you for everything. But I, I, I wonder if, if they told him that and then they turn around and draft Kyle Hamilton, they could be like, man, that's a slap in the face. And then, again, these are just my thoughts. I don't know what he's referring to that he was told, but that's just what I think is a possibility. Like maybe they they were like Chuck, you're the guy, but then they draft the first round pick, and you, if you draft the first round pick, then you expect them to end up being the guy. Maybe not right away, but eventually. So I can see why there could be a little bit of uh, animosity there uh, with Chuck Clark towards uh, the Baltimore Ravens, but. He said he was ready to get out of there. He was ready to clear it, man. He, he said, you know, I was ready to be gone. Get me out of here. I don't want to be on this team no more. But Chuck said he was ready to be out. Um, and, hey, look, man, I can't blame him. I can't blame him. Um, I know a lot of Ravens fans going to be like, oh, man, he's this, he's that. Because I, I feel like with a lot of Ravens fans, with Chuck, when it comes to Chuck Clark, people either love him or hate him. I feel like there's, there's really no in-between. Chuck Clark was a, he was a solid player though. He was a solid player. Solid guy. Usually always healthy and whatnot. Was a leader. And one thing about Chuck Clark, like look now, he wanted to be traded. He wanted to get on up out of the Ravens from last year, but he showed up to every single game. He didn't hold out. He didn't make no public fuss about nothing. He was there at like all the OTAs and all that stuff. From, from early on in the offseason last year, he was there for Everything. Everything. So I think that, that that speaks highly to his character. I, I know that this is a lot of people like, oh, what, what kind of character does that guy have now talking about the Ravens? Like, the, hey, it happens. Just because a lot of people that worked at one company, they may have enjoyed their time with that one company. And they may have felt like it was a great company. Not everybody may feel, like, feel that way. And that's okay. That is okay. For Chuck Clark to say what he said, okay. He wanted to get out. All right, cool. Let him go. Well, they did let him go. But um, he said he was ready. Like, but like, imagine, put yourself in Chuck Clark's shoes. Put yourself in his shoes. Again, if you saw somebody at the same position that you were in, your company that you've been with for years, and you've been putting in work for years, you saw them bringing somebody else and paid them a boatload of money. Then you saw them bringing somebody else. You saw them bring in a veteran, somebody that's been in the game for a little bit. They, get, they got paid a lot of money, but then you saw them bring in uh, an intern, and they paid that intern a lot of money, too. And that intern obviously going to be a full-time employee soon. You're like, what? 
So two people to replace me? Wow. He said, you know what? Get me out of here. A lot of y'all want to leave too. And I would understand why. Again, that feeling of being replaced, it hurts. It hurts. So I'm sure there's a lot of emotion tied behind this. Um, but with the Ravens, with their uh, the moves that they made at safety, um, I think that it's just really because they wanted playmakers, man. That's all I think it is, really. They wanted playmakers. Chuck Clark, he only had a couple years left on his deal when they signed Marcus Williams. I think he had two years left on his deal, I believe. Um, and Marcus Williams, he would bring in somebody that could be a playmaker for them at safety. And then they were like, you know what, we're doubling down. Kyle Hamilton. Because they, they needed more plays to be made. Not only just in the secondary, but on defense. And both of those guys, they did. They made some plays. They really did. So, well, Marcus Williams, he's a veteran. He definitely did his thing for the Ravens last year. Oh, my goodness. That signing was great. Great. And it would have it would have been 50 million times better if he wouldn't have got hurt and missed a chunk of time. Like, he missed a chunk of time, and, but he, he was a baller, man. That dude can play some football. And then Kyle Hamilton, another play. He made some plays, too. He made plays to force fumble, some hit sticks, the sacks. That boy was a pass rusher, too. Like, he was doing it all. But, again, I think this is just, it's just hurt. It's just a bit of hurt from Chuck Clark. It's, it's honesty, brutal honesty, too. But I, I think that honesty comes from just him being hurt by the Ravens, man. I just think he felt like he was just done nasty. And um, he also said uh, that, the, the, and this is from uh, Rich Semeni who covers the New York Jets. Uh, he says, Clark says the drafting of Kyle Hamilton in the first round and, so not just them drafting Kyle Hamilton, but this as well, and contract and money matters contributed to him feeling disrespected. Looks forward to a fresh start with the Jets who will start him alongside Jordan Whitehead. So, with that being said, I think some of what we thought or think could be the case. I really think it could be the case where, because if it's about contracting, if it's about Hamilton and contracting money, that, that sound, to me that sounds like a mix of Marcus Williams and Kyle Hamilton. Sound like both. It's like, man, okay, y'all drafted him in the first round. Oh, oh, y'all paid him all that. What about me? I've been here. I've been here. But again... I think they just wanted more playmakers, man. They wanted more playmaking ability. Like, because with Chuck Clark, again, solid player, solid guy. He's always right there, always right there around the ball. But there'll be times where sometimes he would make a play, sometimes he wouldn't. It just, it, it could be, uh, it was tough, man. It's tough. But he's going to be solid for the Jets, man. He's going to be solid for the Jets. And it's, it's going to be nice to see him in that defense, too. See how he does. Uh, because the Jets, their defense was already, already good last year. And now they, they will have had another year to sort of jail some more. And now you add Chuck Clark to that. You get C.J. Mosley and whatnot. Obviously, Sauce Gardner. Um, I don't know about Quinn Williams. But so we'll see if he show up. But, yeah, man, this uh, they're they, they going to be good over there in New York. So it should be fun. Oh, well, I wonder if the Ravens going to end up running into them down the line. Hey, maybe. We'll see. The only time they will be able to play each other would be if they both met in the playoffs. So, <sighs> But yeah. Anyway, shout out to Chuck Clark, man. It's okay to be honest. It's okay to let people know how you feel. Uh, I know a lot of Ravens fans are gonna take this as him disrespecting the Ravens. I I don't think it's that. Again, he just said he's ready to get out of there. He's ready to go. So and I mean, when you think about what the the position, like he said, the position that he was in, a lot of people would be ready to go too. So I can't blame him. So, but it's okay. Uh, Ravens are in a good position at safety right now. Um, and apparently they still interested in adding more. So we'll see. Um, and Chuck Clark, he's in a good position right now. Uh, with, a, with a team that's up and coming, the, the New York Jets, they they on the way. So both parties, uh, it should be good for both parties, both good for both sides. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And like a lot of Ravens fans are glad Chuck Clark is, especially after these comments. We out. I love y'all.